You all right, Jack? No, I was just thinking. Forty years ago, I walked through these gates for the first time when I was a young lad. Just an apprentice. Apart from the bag of tools I was carrying, I had nothing. Now it's all changed, Vanessa. But it still isn't easy for me. Walking through these gates, I guess for the last time. We have to look ahead now, not back. Come on. Mr. Rolf. Mr. Rolf. I uh, was wondering whether that offer of a job as apprentice is still open. Damn right it is. Come on. to talk to you. I don't think you and I have anything more to say. Listen to me for just a minute, please. I owe you an apology. Yesterday I had far too much to drink. I, I know I said all kinds of things, but I just wasn't thinking straight. As long as you carry the ghost of your father around, I'm not sure you ever will. That's all over. It's finished, I promise you. I could believe that. Believe it, please. It's true. Just like everything else you were saying. Now tell me your checkup. How did everything go? Fine. That's good. Good. That's what's important now. Why? So you can contest your father's will? No, of course that's not the reason. Really? And what about your business? There's nothing that can't wait. After the way Abby treated you? Listen, I'm not out for revenge, if that's what you mean. I hope not. Otherwise, the cycle will just continue, and you'll end up fighting Abby the way your father fought you. And I couldn't live with that. You wouldn't have to. Lynn, I don't want that child you're carrying, our child, to miss out the way I missed out. I really do want to make a fresh start. But I can't do it unless... unless you give me the opportunity. Thanks for everything, Ken. Uh, pleasure. I said I wouldn't let you down, so don't let me down. Just get back here safely. With lots of publicity. Well, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> All the best. Well, this is it. This is it. I'll see you when I do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Hi, Bill. And Jenny. Now, mind how you go, girl. Oh, and if you remember, do an old sailor a favour, and when you're round Cape Horn, spit over the side, will you? I always dread of doing it myself. But, yeah. It'll be a pleasure. Oh, it's all yours. Look after yourself. And you. And Thomas.
Congratulations, Ken. You finally got what you wanted. Control of leisure cruise. Yes. Everything I've always wanted. Hello, darling. Jan, congratulations on the new flotation. Thank you. How did it go at the clinic? Fine. Everything's fine. And how do you feel about this baby, Charles? I'm absolutely delighted. Darling, who'd have thought you're the boss of the Mermaid Yard? Your father would have been very proud of you, and so am I. Leo, get yourself a glass. The Admiral has something very exciting to tell you. I have indeed. Leo, your designs have been accepted for my America's Cup challenger. Well done, <laughs> Leo. And incidentally, your grandmother and I have decided to tie the knot. So there's a lot to celebrate. May I give you a toast to the Howards? The Howards! Howard.